Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to show you how you could use one of my favorite apps called Evernote. I'm going to show you how to use the desktop version on a Mac, but you could also use a browser version like I have here, so I'll show you that too. And you could also use the mobile version on iOS devices or Android devices. And the great thing about Evernote is that it syncs your documents between all those devices and that's one of my favorite reasons why I use it. So let's get started here. If you don't have Evernote, there's a couple of ways to get it. One is to go to evernote.com and sign up here, or you could use the app store. It's called Evernote. Just go ahead and search for it and download it. And this is what the desktop version looks like. I'm just gonna close the app store here. This is what the desktop version looks like on a Mac. And let me log into the browser. There was the login right there. This browser version, and the desktop version and the mobile version are all synced up. The thing is though, it only syncs between two devices on the free version. So if you wanna sync it between multiple devices, more than two, you have to upgrade to the premium version. But I'm still on the free version and it's working fine for me. I'm using it to do book reviews and keeping all my notes synced between my desktop and my mobile app when I'm on the go. So to get started with Evernote, there's a couple of things you need to know. Evernote is a combination of notebooks and the notes within that notebook. So these two are your most important tabs, notebooks and notes. So first thing is we wanna to go to notebook and we want to create a notebook to start from scratch. So in this case, all you gotta do is press the plus sign here and create a notebook. So let's say this is my notebook and then you could choose to make it private so you could only see it or you could share it with someone right away. Right now I'll make it private and I could share it later for someone to collaborate and I create. And that's how it creates a notebook for me. Within that notebook, there's gonna be a lot of notes. So let me go within one of my notebooks here. I'll double click that one. And it took me to notes here. And under that notebook, I have a variety of different notes. So if you look over here, there's one note, there's two, there's three. These are just book summaries that I put in here. I'm gonna show you how to add a new note to this here. So under notes, if I come up here and press the plus sign, I could create notes. Now it's gonna let me type up a new note. So I could either type up the tag or title. In this case, I already wrote it somewhere else in Microsoft Word actually. So I could open up Microsoft Word and I could copy the title. I could come back over here and paste the title and I could go back and copy the content and I could bring it and paste it here. And it's created a new note for me right here. So that's my fourth note within that notebook. Now let me show you how it syncs up with a different device. So now if I go to my desktop and if I refresh this page, you see that new notebook 17 seconds ago when I created it popped up right here. And it's the same thing with my mobile app. It's popped up right there. So without you doing anything, it syncs across all your devices without you having to worry about it. Let me go back to the app here again. So again, you could divide up your notebooks by different categories. So if you have video ideas, if you're using it for school, you could do different subject matters. If you're using it for business, you could have different categories for business. Again, I'm just using this for my YouTube channel to keep it organized. You could create to-do lists for yourself. So another great function here is tags because this will make things much easier to search. So what I wanna do is create a new tag. I could just name that tag, whatever I want. And now if I go to one of my notes over here, I'll just go to this note here and I could click to add a tag. So right here, I could click and add a tag. And because I created that tag, it recognized it. And now it's created that tag for me. So now under tags, it says one thing is under that tag. So when you accumulate a lot of tags, let's say you had a hundred tags, it's a lot easier to just double click and search for something that way with tags. Right now, I obviously had just one tag and one item under that tag where it was easy. But if your Evernote gets really crowded, it's a great way to search for things. Now I have another Evernote account that's very crowded, but I had some sensitive information. So I created this one for book reviews just to show you for this video. Now, if you wanted to share one of your documents, so under notebook, I'm just gonna go over here to this document over here and I could just press share. Now it's gonna ask me who I wanna send it to. So I could put someone's email and leave them a message and I could have them edit by inviting them to edit or I could just get them to view this document and I could share it with them this way. This is a great way to collaborate over any document. Within each Evernote, you have all the functionalities that you have on any text document. So you could change the font, you could make things bold, you could change the font size, you could even add tables if you wanted to. I'm just gonna command Z to undo that. You could also click this icon here to attach anything to your Evernote like a picture. So in this case, if I wanted to add this picture, I could just press that attachment and bring that into my document. I'm just gonna select and delete that. 
So again, the things to take away from this is Evernote consists of notebooks and notes. So go over here first, create your notebook. That will be your overall subject. And then you could come under notes and you could create notes under that notebook and everything is going to be nicely organized within Evernote and everything is going to be synced up between all your devices. And finally, the ability to use tags to tag anything on any document so you could easily find it. I hope this video helps you get started with Evernote. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for a lot more videos just like this one. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.